Hey, good afternoon. Daniel from ShakeTrainer.co.uk. Hope you're having an amazing Sunday so far and an amazing weekend. I know I am. It's bright, it's beautiful, and it's a, a lovely, happy day. And we like happiness. So, um, a quick, random, random piece of information that I stumbled across yesterday. I went uh, on the on the tube on the underground, and do you still have your Oyster card? This is completely random, by the way, yeah? So do you have your Oyster card? It's gonna take 30 seconds. Um, I thought, I don't use this anymore, because I use my debit card. So just tap the debit card instead of using the Oyster card. And I thought, why am I carrying this extra card around with me? So I spoke to the guy, and I said, I remember I gave a deposit for this, can I get it back? He said, yeah, sure. So he went to the, uh, took me to the machine, tapped it on the machine, get a Oyster card refund, you get back what's on your, card. Hi Bryce, how are you mate? <laughs> Good to see you or speak to you. Um, so I tapped it on the machine and he said Oyster card refund. I got back everything off the card and my five pound back. So I got a few few quid back, got rid of a card out of my card holder. <laughs> Random piece of information may help you may not if you live in London or have an Oyster card. If you live somewhere else in the world and haven't got Scooby-Doo what I'm talking about, that means you haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, then uh, maybe you can share that with a friend who lives in London. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to talk about today is something I've learned, which is there are three people, three types of people you can learn from. Three types of people that you can learn from. Number one is, say you, you found a good business opportunity or you've had a great idea of how to get in shape um, or you found this new food or new type of diet, whatever it is, you found something new that it, uh, you think, wow, is amazing. Okay. You're not sure if it's going to work. You're not sure if it'll work for you. You're not sure there's not enough uh, data on it. There's not enough information on it. So who do you ask? There's three people that you can learn from. Now, number one, you could go and talk to someone who's never done it before. They've never done the diet. They've never done this business plan. They've never done whatever it is that you're thinking about. They've never done it. So they don't have uh, any past knowledge or any experience about it. You could go and talk to them and likely they'll say, I haven't got a clue, I, wouldn't, I don't like the sound of it, it's not mainstream, don't do it. Likely. They might put a spin on it and say, a positive spin and say, I've never done it before, so I think you should try it. It sounds like a good idea, maybe. But most people will likely say, I don't know, I, I wouldn't do it, I don't like the sound of it. That's number one. So someone who's never done it before, you could go and get their advice. And that's most, most people have, have done you know, what they do. They do, we do a small, we're, we're experts on a small uh, section of the whole wide variety of life. So you could go and speak to them. Number two is you could go and speak to someone who's failed. So uh, someone who has done this, tried this business plan or has followed this diet before or has done this training program before or has followed this person before, whatever it may be that's your idea that you're thinking about and they failed. So they might say to you, most likely most of them will say failed, um, and I, I wouldn't recommend it because X, Y, Z and all the reasons why it failed for them. So they'll, they'll probably share with you their experience uh, of why they failed. Now, they could put a positive spin on it again and say, look, this is why I failed and this is how, what you could do to succeed. Maybe they'll do that. Most likely people will say, I failed. That doesn't work. Don't bother with it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. Most people will say that. You could go and get advice from those people. Uh, and those are the people that have failed. Now, the third person you could get advice from is someone who's been successful or being successful. So you go to them, you say, look, I've seen this amazing business model and I think it could be the one for me. Can you give me your advice on it? I'd really appreciate it because you're a successful business owner. Maybe they own their own business. Maybe they're in the same uh, business industry that you're thinking about, whatever it may be, but they're successful. So now they're intake, their uh, input even to you, their information, what they'll share of their experience is uh, more related to what you need, what you want. How do you be successful? You know, someone who failed at it, they don't know how to be successful at it. Otherwise, they would have done it because they ended up failing and no one wants to fail. Um, the people who've never done it before, they just don't know. They've never tried it. They haven't been involved in it. So you want to talk to the people, I suggest, you should find the people in your life who you trust or even a friend of a friend who's successful in whatever it is that you're doing. So maybe it's losing weight, maybe it's changing your mindset, maybe it's starting a new business. Go and talk to the successful people. So the three people that you could talk to is the people that's never done it before, the people that have uh, tried and failed, and the people that have succeeded. So what I call this is never failed success. And to make it clear, here you go. 
That's probably back to front. But never failed success. If you can read backwards, I hope so. Your brain can handle it. So never failed success. So that's a good tip, in my opinion. It's what I've learned recently. It's, what I'm sharing. it's why I'm sharing it with you. And why do I share it? It's because of my why. If you didn't see my why video, it's the one, the video I recorded before this, a couple of days ago, check it out. And it talks about Simon Sinek giving me an insight of um, why we do what we do, how we do what we do, and what it is that we do. So why I do what I do is because I like to make people happier. I like to make myself happier. If I make you happier in my um, Within, within arm's reach in my company, then you're happier, I'm happier, we have a happier time. So I like to make people happier, myself and everyone around me. And how I do that is I deliver some language techniques, lifestyle techniques, exercise techniques, nutrition techniques and supplementation uh, offerings that you can try on that work. So that's how I do what I do. And what I do is personal training. I'm a personal trainer and I'm an author. And uh, I've got another little business on the side as well, which I absolutely love. So that's how, uh, why, how, what. That's interesting. So check out that uh, John O. How are you, mate? Hi, Jackie. Nice to see you. Um, so check out my video below. That's the Simon Sinek one, which is, uh, talks about why. So the three types of people that I was just talking about you want to learn from is never failed success. Those who've never done it before, those who failed at doing it before, and those who are successful or have been successful with it before. I suggest you go straight to the successful people, either they've been successful in the past or they are now, because they'll give you the most direct, most accurate, most cut through information that you can use so that you can be successful. When we're successful, we're happier and so on and so forth. So think about this. Uh, this is an important quote that I heard. Think about these words for a moment. So, uh, words tell you who someone wants to be. Words tell you who someone wants to be. Actions tell you who they are. Words tell you who someone wants to be. Actions tell you who they are. So actions speak louder than words. They're more powerful. So think about that when you're talking to people, when you're interacting with people. Think about uh, you know, their actions. Are they trustworthy? Do they, are they consistent? Are they, uh, do they talk sense? You know, do they know what they're talking about? And the video today is purely about who we get our information from. You know, I'm sharing my why uh, and have more clarity on my why because, uh, because of the Simon Sinek little video, something I've learned, something I'll take forward. I'd, I'd suggest checking it out. It's in my feed below. Check it out. If you like it, then please give it a like and send me any questions and, and thoughts you have around that because I'd like to develop that thought processing, that thought process with you. Um, and we'll, we'll gain more momentum and think about and have more clarity on our why when we start interacting with people who want to take us where we want to go. So talking to those successful people, spending time with the people who have success in the areas we want success in. So you are the sum of the, the five people you spend the most time with. That doesn't mean you need to be, you need to call them up and, you know, be at their door first thing in the morning. You can have a chat with them on the phone. You can listen to a video like this. You can listen to a podcast. You can have a, have a chat on Skype, wherever it may be. Uh, and that's, you know, if you spent all day listening to Tony Robbins, uh, yes, Calvin, we've all got a story to tell. So, you know, we, everyone wants to hear it. I think people don't share enough. I was talking with someone the other day and they said, I'm not sure about doing videos. I said, but that's, you should do that. And they, what stopped them from sharing their story was they said, oh, I'm kind of pausing in between. And I, I said, look, just get on a live and then you're forced to do it. And people want to see that. If I stutter and I make a mistake, then that's natural. That's who I am. And, and you'll all relate to that because we all can't speak perfectly all the time. And it's not about that. It's about being optimal. That's what I talk about all the time. Op optimalism is, uh, is my, um, my whole uh, mantra, if you like. So it's not about being perfect. Just tell your story the way it is. It is what it is, but we're all interested in each other's story and how we overcome our worst times and how we enjoy the best times even more. So please share, share, share. Let's all share some more. And we should do that. I think the English don't share enough. We're a little bit too reserved and we're a little bit too stiff upper lip. In the most part, that's a generalization. There's a couple of amazing people, few hundred amazing people out there, but we need more of them. So become one of them. Um, let's go together. So uh, what I was talking about, 
to th finish off, uh, recap, so three people you want to talk to if you're thinking about an idea. Those who've never tried it, those who've failed, those who've succeeded. Remember, actions are tell you who the person wants to be. Um, actions, words tell you who the person wants to be. Actions tell you who they are. Words tell you who the person wants to be. Actions tell you who they are. That's important. Think about that because um, you can listen to someone talking a load, but if they don't follow through with their actions, then they're no good. You, you can't trust that person. You have to be able to. Um, so, if, for instance, you're the five person, and you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you listen to Tony Robbins' videos all day, you spend the whole day with Tony Robbins, and that will undoubtedly have an amazing impact on your mentality, and that over time will have an amazing impact on your emotions, and your emotions affect your actions, and your actions affect your results, and your results affect your thoughts, and then that's uh, an upward spiral of positive thought. So if you can get your thoughts, just pick them up, take them up a level, up to the upper limit, take them up a notch, and you do that by using that technique I, I shared in my, in my previous video. If you want to know more, just reach out to me about that. So get your thoughts up, that will bring your emotions up, that will improve your actions, that will improve your results, and then that your results, when you're getting results, you're happy, right? So you're happy, happier. It's another little circle of uh, aspiration. Uh, so I'll finish on that today. I'm going to talk about meal replacements and what I think. Uh, I'm glad you're having fun, Calvin. <laughs> it's good. It's good to hear that. And thank you for saying that. Um, I like to hear. So if you have any thoughts while you're watching this, pop them in the messages, the comment box below. I really am interested in what you have to think and what you want to say. Share it with me. Let's have a chat. Um, so uh, I'll be talking about meal replacements and my take on meal replacements. Are they good? Are they bad? You know, uh, we'll, we'll have a little conversation about that uh, in the near future. But tomorrow I'm going to meet a good friend of mine, Tony McCarthy, and he runs retreats into the mountains of Peru. Uh, and if you've ever thought you want to get on a fitness retreat, he really is one of the, the, the best men you could choose. He is just a bundle of energy and he will inspire you and motivate you beyond your wildest dreams and you can check out his videos. I'll share all of that tomorrow. I'm going down to see him tomorrow uh, and we'll do a little Facebook live around that. And so I'll finish on that. And remember guys, health is a skill that you can learn and this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Now let's go get happy. Let's take the world with us. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have an amazing Sunday. Take care.